Hi everyone. I've been getting a lot of questions about the new version of Photoshop, Photoshop CS4 and the patch tool. Uh, I was a bit intrigued by a couple of questions saying it's changed, it doesn't behave the same way. And I found that a little bit hard to believe, but lo and behold, absolutely true, it has had a radical change in the way it makes repairs. Now to show you the difference between the two, I'll just go into this copy of Adobe Photoshop CS2, this is the old version of Photoshop, and show you how the patch tool originally worked. I'll go over to my toolbox, just click there, and I'm going to patch this little seahorse tattoo. So I'll just draw a loose selection around the seahorse, make sure that the patch is set to patch the source, go inside the selection area and just drag it off to some clean skin and let go. Deselect, that's Control D or Command D on the Mac. Patch is done. This is all fairly typical and standard. If you've been using the patch tool a lot, you'll be doing this in your sleep. But in the new version, there is a very big change. Let's go and have a look. So here we are inside of Photoshop CS4. Same image, and we're going to do the same thing. Going to go over to the tool panel, grab our patch tool, make the same sort of loose selection as we always do with the patch tool, go inside, it's all set to go to source, everything's the same, drag it off to the patch of clean skin that we used before, let go, and oh my god, what a hideous bruise. What is going on? Well, basically what's happened in the new version of the patch tool is it's much more sensitive to the luminosity values that it's blending with. Okay, that's the technical explanation. How do I fix this mess? Well, in fact, this is a, an improvement, believe it or not. It will mean a little bit more work, but the results will tend to be a bit better. Here's all you've got to do. Go back inside of the selected area for patching and just do it again. Just drag it over to the patch of clean skin and drop. Bruise begins to fade away. Now you're thinking, okay, why do I have to do this so many times? What's the big advantage of doing it this way? Take a look at this. I'm just using my hand tool. I'm just going to drag over to the right a little bit and I'm going to drag it off to a different patch of skin this time. So I'm just going to drag this off to the right drop it again and that blends in beautifully. I'll just hide that selection area with a control H or command H on the Mac. I think that gives a terrifically good result. The reason why I like this is because you now gradually build up the change. It will still wipe out things in one smack if it's a simple, small thing like a hair you're getting rid of. But if it's a big, very dark blob, it's going to need several goes to get the result you're after. But the ability to be able to mix different patches and build up the change is a distinct advantage. Yes, more work, but also, yes, better result. So I think this is an improvement. 